Today we need to talk about NCT Taeyong kissing in bed and what happened there. We need to get into W Korea posting about RM and Karina and the backlash that this caused. And then we have RM during an interview talking about his life thus far. So you dumplings is saved if I hate it or not, make sure you subscribe to it with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, tasteful mug merch, and let's go. Arm recently had an interview with 032C Magazine, and he said something very interesting. I definitely want to note it here and talk about it. First off, I was very surprised that Arm was doing this interview with this magazine. The magazine is a big brand, but definitely much smaller than a lot of the other magazines that bigger artists do. And this definitely makes you think about how much stuff artists do that most people are never aware of. And there's definitely a lot. Things like publications to even events. At the end of the day, artists are going to do things that make either the company or label money. And usually magazines don't pay, but if RM were to attend a much smaller event, he would for sure have to be paid to go. So what did RM say in this magazine that was so cool? Well, I wanted to read it. He said, I'm showing a kind of vulnerability. I get attacked because some people react that it's too much for an idol to show. But for me, it's a way of saying I love you to people. How long can I just keep my mouth shut and only talk about good stuff in interviews? If if you keep pressing it, it's bound to burst. I'm not exactly saying I was living a lie for the last 10 years. It's just that I've lived so intensely that there was little time to consider anything other than what I should do immediately next. I think this was very important for RM to note and him talking about sort of the hate and attacks that he gets. And he is absolutely right. For a K-pop idol to be very transparent and discuss things openly, even dating or just speaking up about things he is passionate about are going to be things that will ultimately get him a lot of hate. He is not a addressing anything in particular, but we can see examples of this when he supported his own country's Olympics team and then got canceled by Chinese netizens who were upset that he did, and then various things like that. When he was canceled for the Frank Ocean situation, he then even actively spoke out about it and his response got even more backlash as he mentioned that he honestly feels like there's nothing to apologize for. And he is definitely correct. There is nothing to apologize for. But he is also extremely correct in the way that so many many people have dedicated their lives to BTS and those who are just fans of RM have done that for him. And so having transparency and being honest with them is the best route to go as you don't want them to feel lied to. However, I do want to point out something else here. Idols and celebrities have a way of making it appear like they're relatable, but only showing the relatable parts by live streaming in a closet or only showing parts of their living situation that is not extravagant. This is how people believe the idols are just like them. And those same people get not only so unbelievably shocked when the idol is rich, but they get disappointed. So on the surface, the fans want the idols to be transparent and real. They don't actually want that. They want the idols to be like them and not be as successful as the idols are. And everyone loves when they jump on trends and do what everyone else online is doing because it's just so relatable and fun. And I don't mean to ruin that for you. A lot of idols genuinely jump on trends because they enjoy it and think it's funny. It's not always for the sole reason of trying to jump on a trend for trying to be relatable. But apparently NCT's Taeyong jumped on a hilarious trend. We are here to talk about it. If you are not aware, there is this Shrek trend going around. Someone created this Shrek filter where it appears like you're making out with Shrek. I doubt this was made by the studio that created Shrek and I wonder how they feel about this filter. But I think the filter is absolutely hilarious. The filter has the back of Shrek facing the camera and then the head or face is right where your lips and mouth would be. So Young uploaded a video where he was in bed and it seemingly appeared like he was just waking up and then it appeared like he was bombarded with Shrek making sweet love to him. Of course the fans and the comments went absolutely wild. Some people think this is soft launching a relationship and maybe preparing people for what it would look like if Young got into a real relationship and others felt like it was funny and just extremely random. It definitely is extremely random and it's going to go down as one of those videos that K-pop fans were referred to as a sort of kissing video. The headlines were hilarious talking about Taeyong kissing in bed and I love that everyone gets an opportunity to play along with this. There is this joke that exists online where people like to say that Shrek is like the most gorgeous man that ever exists and I think most people find Shrek's personality to be the most funny and that could contribute to the love. So to see Taeyong jump on this and show his love is absolutely hilarious. For those saying that Taeyong might be trying to imply that he is gay or whatever it is, 
experience. I just don't think that this is the case. I think that he is just doing this just like everyone else is and probably wants to jump on the hilarious trend and that is all there is to it. I'm sure there's tons of K-pop idols who maybe have very strict social media teams that would not allow them to post anything like this because it shows the artist having an intimate moment and they don't ever want to show that. However, showing more of these things will normalize the idea that the idols aren't going to have sex with us or aren't going to be kissing us. It just won't happen. And what bothers me about that whole culture is that these fans who think that the idol is just waiting for them, they won't ever admit that publicly, that they think that the idol will marry or date them because they know it's crazy. But when the idol exhibits any behavior that is either out of what they think the norm is or exhibits sexual behavior towards someone else, it's like the fan loses it. I don't like that at all. There's been some threats and people attacking both RM and Karina recently and it's been crazy. So what am I talking about? If you're not aware, W Korea, the magazine company, recently had an event. They invited several people and of those people they invited RM and Karina from the group ESPA. The group is rising in popularity and a lot of people still consider the group to be rookies. So that's kind of where the issue lies. But let's rewind a bit. People for a little bit now think that RM and Karina are dating. The rumors came out of nowhere and the rumors were based on both RM and Karina posting black and white photos on Instagram and then a little bit before that RM had even talked about wanting to have a girlfriend but not having a girlfriend. So I guess that made people think he is pursuing or would be pursuing someone. But why did people think Karina? It made no sense. As you can tell the rumors have no merit to them. However that didn't stop some people in the fandom from making accusations and saying awful things about RM to say that the age gap is just too wide and why would RM date her? And then on the other hand there's people who don't like BTS but are ESPA supporters insulting RM by saying he's unattractive. Just a lot of stuff that makes no sense. So those rumors were sort of dying because no one really did anything with it nor was there any further evidence to push the rumors. But then apparently during a W Korea event RM and Karina were seated together. I don't know if this was a formal event but it seemed like they had assigned seats. And so RM and Karina were talking and people had guesses as to what was being said. But of course we can't read lips because the quality of the videos are not that good. But of course this further pushed the rumors of them dating and people now had evidence of it, if you will. Of course, RM then gets a ton of hate for no reason and people insulting him and over this idea that ESPA and BTS members are at different places in their lives. Why would they choose to date someone younger? And that makes no sense. RM is 29, Karina is 23. That's not a huge age gap and both of them are more or less at similar places in their career. It's not like Karina is still a trainee. Second of all, typically a lot of men go for slightly younger. My mom is younger than my dad and a lot of my friends, it's the same situation. Of course, the opposite exists as well. But I think typically it is that the man is older, just like typically the man is taller, or typically the man is the breadwinner. These are all just kind of stereotypical things that are assigned for men to be. And so I just don't see how that's weird. If anything, it falls within very traditional standards of dating. And that is if they're dating, which they are most likely not. I think people also forget just because two people are seen talking or whatever does not mean they're dating. I'm confused about how people think dating works. Are most people who are making up these dating rumors, people who have never dated, even if you're super successful CEO making millions a year, you still can't have any man or woman that you want. And the bottom line is things like personality and if that personality is compatible. Those are things that are necessary if people are dating. And I'm not an expert, but it does appear the interaction with RM and Karina seem to be a bit more formal. So they likely didn't know each other that well. RM is 29 and as far as we know, hasn't had a girlfriend yet. I doubt he would be sitting they're trying to just hook up with people. He would likely want someone he is compatible with. I say this not to say Karina is not compatible, but how can you say that they're dating when you don't even know if they're compatible? People at the same time are calling out age differences and how gross that is, but don't take time to consider if there is age difference and lack of compatibility. They might not be dating. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check on Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.